I really can't understand how he could be depressed living a life where he can do anything he wants. <clears throat> so I think that when you look at things like depression, okay, so I've given this exact same fucking speech a million fucking times on stream, okay? Um, oh my god, I'm not fucking cute. I just missed that last cue. Fuck! So, one of the things that you have to consider is that humans acclimate to any condition really well, right? This is something that I've said a million times. If you're of a certain level of wealth, then you'll acclimate to it, and it won't seem like anything. If you get to another level of wealth, you'll acclimate to it, and it won't seem like anything for you, right? So, like, for, for like, I mean, like, I could use a personal example, right? I have more money now than I ever imagined I would have had, like, seven or eight years ago, right? But you acclimate to that, right? Like, six or seven years ago, like, saving up to buy... Um, fucking like like an 88 gtx was like imaginable for me that, that fuck that was still like when i was in high school what was like the first the first graphics card i ever saved up enough money to get was an nvidia 9600 how how old was that car that's the first graphics card that i saved up to buy the nvidia 9600 and this was like the budget line 9000 series fucking card this was like the shit to me oh this would have been after like the 8000 line right i don't know how old this card is but um so like it so like that kind of showed was like a really fucking big deal to me like when i got on that shit like that was a really big deal to me but nowadays like i could drop fucking four thousand dollars and buy another computer and it would just be whatever um i mean i wouldn't but but the problem is that um you acclimate to things and you don't you like all of the things that you have access to, if you have access to them on a daily basis, you stop giving a fuck about them, if that makes sense. Um, the, the easiest way, so like, I say things like this, so I could say something like, I have a lot of money and I could fly anywhere I want in the world next weekend and I could do it and go on a, on a vacation for a week and I could do it if I wanted to, right? So like, you might hear me saying like, that. it's like, no way, Dustin. Like, if I had access to that, like every single day, I would wake up and I would be like, oh my God, I'm so happy that I have access to these things. Like, this is so cool. Like, Destiny, like, I'd like, I feel like rich people are spoiled or people, middle class people are spoiled or whatever. Like, I feel so cool. Like, um, however, but like, I can prove like, I can prove your own examples wrong, right? And the easiest way to do that is, like, right now, are you, like, super fucking grateful that you can breathe, like, easily, right? Not really, right? It sounds retarded. Like, well, well okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, I can breathe easy. Like, that's whatever, right? However, when you're sick or if you have a cold or if you have the flu, what, like, the only thing you can think about is when I wake up, I hope to fucking God I'm not congested and I don't have a headache and I don't have to blow my nose all fucking day long and my throat isn't sore, right? That's all you're thinking about all fucking day long is that when you wake up, you're like, Jesus, fuck, please. And, like, the first day or two after not being sick are, like, the best days of your life. You're like, oh, I can finally fucking breathe. It feels so fucking good. Like, oh, my God, right? However, like three or four days later, you're not thinking about that anymore, right? Like a week later, you're not thinking like, oh God, it feels so good that I can talk and my throat isn't sore, I can get a drink and swallowing doesn't hurt and, um, and my nose isn't congested. Like you don't think about any of that, right? Because you acclimate to feeling fine, to feeling normal, right? You don't think about that um, ever. Um, and I, and I, that form of acclimation works for like everything, right? Like how fucking excited are you? Oh my fucking God, when you're 15, 16 years old and you're like, dude, when I get a car, I'm gonna fucking drive everywhere just cause I want to. The freedom of being able to leave my house and drive my fucking car around. Oh my God, it's so awesome, right? You're thinking like, I'm gonna drive and buy ice cream and shit every fucking day. But like now when you're like 20 years old and your friends are like, can I get a ride somewhere? It's like, fuck dude, fucking drive yourself. I don't wanna fucking go out and fill gas up. I don't wanna drive places, man. You fucking serious fucking traffic outside, dude. I just wanna stay at home. Fuck that shit, right? You acclimate to things really fast. Or you you can go back even younger when you're younger like how often do you think of like um how often do you think like dude as soon as i can reach the top shelf or when i can reach the countertops like how sick is that gonna be that i can I don't, i'm not i'm not stuck down here and i can't fucking reach anything right when you're tall enough to be able to reach and grab things off the counters or reach up into cabinets like that's like the sickest shit but then when you're actually tall enough like you don't think about that you don't walk into the kitchen and think that like oh shit dude i can't fucking wait to go into my kitchen and be able to reach into my fucking countertops <laughs> like right like you don't actually think about that kind of shit anymore because you acclimate to it fuck um 
But yeah, I think that when people talk about things like having like depression, I've never, I don't think I've ever had like clinical depression, but when people talk about having things like depression, what you're talking about is like a general cloud of anxiety and dread that kind of just always hang over you every single time you want to do anything. And it's not something that you can just like get over. And it's not something that's just like, um, like, oh, well, just like, don't worry about it. Cause it's always kind of something that's there and it's kind of fucking you in the head. And it's not like a thing that you can just kind of, you know, like, oh, well, I'm happy right now. So it doesn't like, it's something that taints like every single thing that you're involved in, I think. Um, the biggest problem, the, the dumbest thing about depression is that, de and this is weird because depression is a, is a psychological term and you would think that like psychologists would do something different. The problem is that, um, Depression should have never been called depression. I don't know why clinical depression was given the same name as like a normal emotion because depression as like being depressed like the the depression I experienced when my dog died or my cat died or whatever, you know, is a lot different than, you know, like clinical long-term chronic depression. So I don't know why um I don't know why they gave those two things the same word. It seems f fucking stupid to me, but